Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to thank uh, Lisa for agreeing to MC this program uh, tonight. Uh, she has family in Orlando, and I think you could just hear from her heart uh, how she feels, uh, and I'm certainly appreciative. Uh, tonight, I'm, I am very proud of this city. I'm proud of the city that we call Houston, the home to so many, 2.2 uh, million people. And let me just say, uh, I am... Um, I am glad that you have come um, to stand together to show that Houston is one. Um, and I am the mayor of the city, but I am not the only host for this event. I have 16 other partners uh, in joining with me in hosting this event. And I'm going to ask, because uh, I'm not going to speak very long, I'm going to ask all of them and there is only one missing tonight, one minute member of city council is missing, and that's because his wife was in a serious car accident a week or so ago, and he's with his wife tonight, and, and I think we can all understand that, Council Member Lee. But I do want you to know that of the 16 members of city council, 15 members are here tonight, and I want you to see them to know that Houston is standing as one. Tonight, tonight on this particular moment, at this moment, we don't come to talk about our differences. We don't come to talk about what may separate one from another. The focus of tonight is to talk about what brings us together and the fact that we can come from different walks of life. We can live in different parts of the city. Our ideology may even be different. Our faith may be different. And some of us may not be at the same point in term on any particular issue right now. But when it comes to this city, the city that we call Houston, we still stand as one. And the reality is, if we're going to do anything, if we're going to conquer hate, it's going to take all of us standing together to make that happen. <laughs> On Sunday morning when, when I got up and heard the news like the rest of you, um, it was devastating to me. For 49 people uh, in Orlando, 49 people in this country, the music for them stopped. For 49 individuals, the dancing for them stopped. For 49 people, the laughter, the conversation that they were having with one another stopped. For 49 people on that Sunday morning, their voices became silent and never to be heard again. For 49 people, their lives came to an end, not because they asked for it and not because they did anything wrong. Their voices and their dancing and the music for them came to an end because someone who harbored hate in his heart decided to do something that was just so demonic that for them, the music and the dancing and the conversation stopped. One of the reasons why we are here this evening in this candlelight visual at City Hall, one of the reasons why we are here is to say to those who would harbor hate in their heart, and for those who would commit a terroristic act against our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, cousins, our aunts, our friends, that we are committing ourselves that for these 49 and so many others, the music will continue to play. For these 49 and so many others, we will now dance for them. 
for those 49 and so many others, we will speak up and we will be their voice. And for those 49 and so many others, we now will stand in their place to say to the rest of the world that you have not won and we have not been conquered, but we are still victors in our own right. One of the reasons why it's so important for us to assemble tonight in this city is because we are the most diverse city in this country. We're the most diverse. But diversity in of, of itself is just a descriptive term. It only de de describes who we are. But the term that we must seek to really emphasize is that in this city, not only are we diverse, but we are also inclusive. And that we recognize in this city that every person's life has value. Every person's life has meaning. Every community must be respected. And every community must be included. And then in this city, we say no to hate. We say no to discrimination. We say no to terroristic activities. We say no to anyone or group or any person that would seek to divide and separate us in this city. We stand as one. A few minutes ago, we saw the three amigos, a Baptist minister, a rabbi, an archbishop, and they have stood together for years and years and years. But the question for us tonight is what will be our legacy? Those were the three amigos. They're still here and they're still standing. But tonight I would say to the people in this city, what will be our legacy? And what will we do to keep the lives of those 49 still active and so they will not have died in vain? The reason why we are here tonight for those who are not in front of us is to say that we have some work to do. We have to push back our own hate. We have to recognize that in this situation, the LGBTQ community was targeted. We cannot run away from it. We cannot hide from it. We can't just come together for the, tonight and go home tomorrow and just do business as usual. We have to recognize what we was done, the fact that this was a community that was targeted, and a large number of Hispanics lost their lives. Those are things we cannot ignore. And the reality is, when one person or one group in our society is affected and impacted, all of us are affected and hurt at the same time. On Sunday morning, when those 49 lost their lives and 53 others were injured, every one of us, whether we want to accept it or not, every one of us, was diminished. Every one of us, you cannot hurt one group without hurting another. You cannot kill one without diminishing another. And so tonight in this city, we come together to remember and not to forget. But in the midst of all of these tall buildings, and in the midst of a city hall lit up in rainbow colors. We stand here tonight in this city to say that we are rededicating ourselves to making sure that this city that is so diverse that like 
may approach him and said, we're going to hold hands. We're going to work even harder to stay together. And we're going to work hard to give meaning and value to every, every community. As long as I am mayor, we are not going to run away from anyone because of their group affiliation. We are not going to make people secondary citizens in this city. We are all Houstonians. We all stand together. We all bleed together. And we can all laugh together. And the music for the 49 will not stop. Because 2.2 million Houstonians, we are going to dance for them. And we are going to build this city even better than it has ever been. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. And the best for our city has yet to come. Thank you so very much.